Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to light up an interior scene using V-Ray Sun and V-Ray HDRI lights. Before we dive into setting up the lights, let's do some preparation to ensure a fast, efficient, and proper setup. The first thing to do is... Camera Setup Position your camera at the angle you want for the final render. It's crucial to think about your angle before setting up the lights. In the future episodes, I'll explain how to set up a camera in a small area, so stay tuned for that one. Next, Viewport Layout Keep it simple, I changed my viewport layout to have only two viewports, one for the camera angle and the other for adding and moving lights. This helps me navigate and see results quickly. Let's add our main lights. Starting with the V-Ray Sun. Once created, add the V-Ray Sun to the environment. Switch to the front view, move the sun up. And there is one more thing to do before we start rendering. Next, view to render. Light your main camera in the render setup to ensure the frame buffer keeps rendering based on your camera, not the active viewport. Next, use an override material. This ensures a clear view of your lighting results. Next, just remember to add window glass to the exclude list so the sun's light won't be blocked. Now, go to IPR tab, start first test render. And there you go, the result of adding V-Ray Sun but I feel like my interior needs more light. One cool trick is to use the advantage of exposure under display correction. This exposure only affects on the screen and doesn't impact the rendering results. By changing the exposure, you can see how much you need to increase the light's intensity. Stop rendering. Add this scene to your history list for the future comparisons. Select V-Ray Sun in the scene, go to the modifier to increase the intensity and take another render to see the improved result. Now let's move on to the next step. Adding the V-Ray Doom Light and assigning the Sun to the Doom Light map. Once created, assign the V-Ray Sky to the Doom Light map. Enabling the lock texture to the icon. This allows you to shift the sun by rotating the doom light and get lights from different angles. Make sure adaptive doom is checked for the advantage of new adaptive doom light. Now I'll add a few boxes to control the overall contrast of the scene by blocking incoming lights from different directions. Uncheck their visibility and effects in the object properties. Hey. 
Now, you can see the incoming light is much more limited, creating a better contrast. Increase the light's intensity to shift the overall light from this to a brighter scene. Use the same technique to estimate the next intensity amount. Now, the light in trance is much lighter. The entire interior is bright enough and the contrast is well balanced thanks to the blocking objects. Save this shot and make a quick comparison to see before and after. The biggest difference I see, regardless of controlling the light amount, is the depth that is created between objects by this blocking method. The light and shadows actually make the contrast and gaps. Here's a final shot using V-Ray Sun. In the next minutes, I will use V-Ray HDRI Sun to light up this interior scene. Let's dive in. So, I just kept the V-Ray Dome light as I'm going to repeat the same method with the HDRI this time. I made a V-Ray bitmap and assigned an HDRI map to it and then I assigned this to my V-Ray Dome Lights map. The reason that the bottom half is grayed out is to prevent affecting ground image as environmental lighting in my scene. So the HDRI with the grayed out half wouldn't affect the color of your scene. Let's assign this HDRI to the environment and then to the dome light. By increasing the overall multiplier, I start to light up the scene with my HDRI map. I can also increase the multiplier on my dome light. It actually multiplies the HDRI multiplier amount. Now that I see the lights, I move the sun horizontally by increasing the horizontal number. I just change the angle or amount from 90 to 125 or something, so the sun goes to the west and it represents more like a sunset feeling. Let me increase the multiplier amount to make the scene brighter. Now I stop this test render and save it to do another comparison. This time it would be between V-Ray Sun and V-Ray HDRI Lite. So, as you see, it creates softer light with more warmth because of the sun's direction. Let me change my HDRI map to take another render. Alright, this would be the final result of interior lighting using the HDRI map. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to do night lighting with V-Ray lights and how to change setup backdrops for your background. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next videos. See you soon, have fun!